Hey there, my name is John Siskovich and I have a farm in Western Connecticut. And while I raise chickens as one of the operations here, I want to explain why I am a microbe farmer and how you can use that in your farm marketing efforts. So when I got into farming, I got into farming, and this sounds dumb every time I explain it, because I like to eat. I like to eat a lot. And uh, chasing down the next best meal became a passion of mine, because the food that you put into your body affects how your body performs. And the better you eat, you know, diet, exercise, and rest are the three core components to being a healthy person. No matter what diet you want to go on, diet, exercise, and rest. Uh, rest is important, that's the one we always forget. But uh, so. When I got into agriculture, I got into food more seriously, it was just a series of steps of chasing the food chain back. Now, as I get people on my farm here, I get to show them that food chain and that journey that I've had over the last 10 years or so, uh, condensed down into a nice little uh, farm tour show that we have going on here. So the, the point of today's video, and then I'm gonna trace back those steps uh, as to why I'm a microbe farmer in a second, but the real point of the video here is that, uh, you can use this in your farm marketing. This is the conversations that I have with people who come on the tours, conversations that I have uh, with people at the farmer's market, and uh, just in general, the more passionate you are about what you do, that's gonna show, and that's gonna help sell your product. Uh, you're selling yourself as much as you are selling what you are trying to produce, uh, and the more you love it, the more you know about it, uh, the better that's gonna come across in your marketing. So for me, uh, I originally, started to I wanted to be a vegetable farmer and then I realized that that wasn't for me when I found livestock and I loved working with animals now I started working with uh, chickens because they're kind of the gateway drug to pastured livestock where if you raise chickens you're gonna raise pigs and if you raise pigs you're gonna realize that you're buying a lot of feed in uh, and then you're gonna move to a ruminant and then you're gonna have stuff that eats grass harvests the sunshine and uh, puts carbon back into the soil which is sequestering it taking it out of the sky which is combating global warming which is a great thing. So all of that long chain uh, to do what's better for the environment by chasing down your next best meal. Now, I realize that if I am what I eat and I want to perform better and I want to be healthy and strong, I have to eat healthy food. Now, if that healthy food wants to be healthy, it has to eat healthy food. And if that healthy food wants to be healthy, it wants to eat healthy food. So if you chase this back, we got chickens surrounding us right now. They're kind of just hanging out on top of the water right now. Um, so I want to raise chickens on pasture because I know a diverse diet added into supplemental grain um, is going to make their the eggs healthier, the meat healthier, more delicious, and more nutrient dense. Now uh, the feed that I get, I get as fresh as possible. I do feed organic non-GMO here because I believe in that. Uh, and then I manage my pastures by rotating the birds on a day-to-day -day basis where they're getting fresh grass, fresh bugs, fresh forage every single day and that is healthier for them. But chicken manure is high in nitrogen and if you have too much nitrogen in one spot and you don't move your birds at all, they're not getting that diverse diet and you're putting too much of a non-diverse diet back onto the ground, onto the soil. Chicken manure in the right amounts does great things for the grass. Chicken manure uh, in the wrong amounts, over applying it, will burn the grass ground out and uh, create too much of a nitrogen rich uh, scenario and then your, your ground will be dead. So you want the right, around, right amount of manure to feed the grass. And what you're doing by feeding the grass is feeding the microbes in the soil. There are more microbes in a handful of healthy soil than there are human beings on the earth right now. If you think of just one handful has more living organisms in it than the entire planet uh, when it comes to humans, then I'm sure that number is just even bigger for you could lump some other species in there, but we'll stick with people. Um, that when I traced my food chain back, uh, no matter what I do, when I'm working with the hops, when I'm uh, working with the chickens, with the pigs, with our small little vegetable garden, uh, I am feeding the microbes, which is feeding the entire system. That the soil, the food starts in the soil, and the soil is healthy because I am uh, kind of helping out that uh, microbe population uh, that's hanging out in there. And I have that conversation with the customers that I have, that talking about chasing the food chain back, making it very approachable. If you are what you eat, you are what you eat, eats, and then you can get funny with it and be like, you are what you eat, eat, eats, eats, eats. Uh, and then people giggle a little bit and then it comes back around to uh, the fact that you're concentrating on feeding the soil and everything up the food chain is benefiting from it. 
Now my third book, The Pasture Poultry Packet number two, in the back section, uh, I have infographics that I've created, and one of them on page 188 is all about being a microbe farmer and how a handful of soil has more healthy microbes in it than there are human beings on the planet Earth. And these are things that I had those conversations with my customers, I print these out or make photocopies of them, and then I hang them at my farmer's market stand, I have them available for people to view, so that even if I'm not there, I can start that conversation, and then when people come and talk to me, they're kind of primed with that information already, or it starts as a conversation. If you want to pick up your own copy of the Poultry Packet 2 or my other books, you can go to farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash store uh, and pick up your copy today. <laughs> um, thanks for taking the time to stop in and watch this video. This week's theme is going to be this packet sitting in this chicken tractor talking about conversations that I have with my customers so that you will be more knowledgeable about chickens and the way you grow them so that you can pass that on and hopefully increase your sales as well. All this is tailored to try to help you be a more successful farmer because the more small farms we have, the better off we're going to be in the long run. Thanks for taking the time again, and until next time, I will see you out in the field.